All right, you go. For, oh, you go first since I hate on your intro every time. Oh, really? I get to go first. Mm-hmm. Little on me. Yes, man. What's this? What's this? Uh, what? I said, did I get to go first? Yes, sir. What? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barber Shop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with yet another episode of Blues and Bullets, man. Let's get right into Jay. it, man. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, everybody. It's your girl, Bree. How you living? How you living? How you living? Well, from what the game says, they don't know us. They just know us how we live. How we live? How we live? They don't know it. They just know it. How we live? You did not say one how word. How we live? How we live? Play the damn game. Anyway, let's get going. Blues and bullets, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time watching the playthrough, please go back and watch the very first playthrough, and you get a chance to win a copy of the game. Episode one of ep- episode part one, two. part one, episode no, episode one, part one, and episode two, part one. Those two videos, you got a chance. You just got to like the video and uh, leave a comment. Episode and one, and we tell you what what comment to leave, Jay, and you, you get a chance to win. It's part one, episode one, part two, episode one. Okay, well, yeah. Two of the, the both of the episode ones. Anyway, play the damn game. Go. Okay. Hurry up, eat that cookie. Blackness. I got it. Three, six, five. Twelve months. Twenty four seven. No. Damn. Where's the key? Nobody knows. In the opera? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess that that's where it is. Oh, I wish I was at home today, but I'm not. I'm going away. It's okay. It's okay. Cause I got this machine. If you need. Oh my God! He can jog. He can jog. How are you doing this? You pushing it in? It wasn't working before. But he didn't even jog right. I know, right? <laughs> Maybe this is something they just added into the episode of damn jog animation. Oh my god, this is the wackiest jog ever. Not about to find no key. be Sophia Capone? In any case, it seems that someone paid an extremely high price. Specific orders. Short, red-haired adolescent. Middle-aged white man. Young Negro girl. Looks like Ivankov was paid for some of them, but some were rejected. Well, that's some shit. Young Negro girl. I'm about sick of that shit. But we keep on rolling. Hey, we got a damn itch you can't scratch, man. Damn. Leg itch. Yep. Shut the hell up. No doubt about it. Ivankov likes boxing. You're damn right. I Sugar Kid it. Milton. <laughs> there you go. So, you know, Milton is a boxer. Everybody kept saying. Everybody always takes one punch. Yeah. That's why everybody said, don't I know you from somewhere? I'm like, if everybody keeps saying it, somebody got the damn know mm-hmm. All right. Check out that young ass table. You want me to do this? Well, are you scratching your ass? Not, not my ass. <laughs> scratching my leg. You know I'm whooping your I ass. I wonder how many death sentences came out of this thing. You were like Mr. Rogers, I know, right? All right. If, Mr. if you ever saw Fred Rogers run, Kulikov, I'd like to see it. the most versatile vodka in the world. Said, A receipt from the most expensive children's clothes store in Santa Esperanza, mm-hmm. issued yesterday. Hmm. These clues. Guido Colombo. 
According to there we go. The name Sophia's kidnapper used there to we go. So now we know what you look like, bitch. School. We owe this beautiful work of forgery to the talent of Carlo Baccarini. May he rest in peace. But at least we know what that motherfucker looks like now. Fucking Guido Colombo. It's just like naming this man Black Man Jones. Damn. Oh, Nigga Johnson. Yeah. The dude, Guido Colombo. <laughs> naming the man Nigga Johnson or some shit. What you think it is? Was that somewhere where the combination was, maybe? No, I was trying to probably go, go green. Keep, keep, turn it. Turn it. Turn it again. No, no, one at a time. Oh, okay. Okay, go again. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that combination is around here somewhere. On something that we've looked at. Okay, let's go back and look at Get back. It's got to be on something that we looked at, right? Yeah. Let's look at Sonny's paper. Can we check the cues? Yeah, that's just a Look at that again. It doesn't do anything. Oh, we can't look at nothing. Hmm. Hit what? Okay, so nothing happened when we hit Y. Let me see something real quick. You activated that thing, so I'm, I'm sure that's what we got to do next, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so let's see. Ah, right, here we go. Now change the case. The best nights. Well, I can't see, Jay. I changed the safe code to last night's winner. Don't worry about the men. They can't read. Okay, so. To last night's winner. Oh, it was on the rec maybe on the receipt thing, Jay? Right. You can't hit, like, right bumper, left bumper doesn't do anything? No. I don't know who the last night's last night's winner. Try, try seven four two four. You can't do that. Oh, cause it's on three codes. Um. Yeah, you said I changed it to last night's winner. Don't worry about the men; they can't read. Let's see if there's like anything on the wall or something. All right, so let's look around. We might have to go back downstairs. So we got to figure out what last night's winner was. There got to be something around here that will tell us what that was, right? Mm -hmm. Cause I can't look at any of that stuff. What's that last night's winner? I wonder if we, if we looked at something that gave us that information and Probably. we just, I mean, cause where the clues at? Said 593. All right. Mm -hmm. This works. I guess it would have just unlocked if that was it. That wasn't it. Let's go to, um, you can't read, like, the post or anything. Uh, where will we get okay. it from? Let's go back downstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. I changed the combination to last night's win. Look over there, um. Let's see what we can do. Sugar Kid. So you have a sweet tooth? Yeah. And that's why they called you the Sugar Kid? <sighs> All right. What do you want to know? That's, 
No, we don't care. We can't do no small talk. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go for some stuff. You're not going to help me? No. No? I'm not a detective. And there's too much blood in this tragedy to put it down. Hey. You want blood? I promise you, we've got oceans of it right here. And unlike the blood in your Shakespeare, this is real. Yet another reason. All right, so we must have missed something, and hopefully this doesn't. Well, this weak ass job, though. Oh my god! This weak ass job. Wait, we go back to these numbers, Jay, on the cage. Well, that's what we about to see. I, I'm not. I'm not controlling anything. Uh -huh. Based on what I got out of Ivankov and these pieces of evidence, I guess he's a human trafficker. So look Is there the evidence that proves bad. Ivankov was trafficking in humans? Alright, so what are we gonna... Go back, you can't... Yeah, we got the board, yeah. Uh, yeah. We got the board, nah. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece... According to... I a hefty... Re the forgery... It appears that this one is always going to be the longest chapter, so... A cross painted by hand in blood. Was it the prisoner's own hand and their own blood? It's possible. Sickening smell, revolting stains. Yep. This was a toilet for whoever was locked up here. Who's taking it here? The diameter of these shackles is pretty conclusive. Wrists or ankles. There's still some water, and the food hasn't dried out completely. This cage was occupied recently. I think it says Abdelkader, the owner of the biggest prostitution ring in Santa Esperanza. Three Ks. Holy Christ. Yas, pull it! I say pull it. Holy shit balls, Batman! Jesus. He said, "Chris, I said it's two oh nine." How you know that? Chris, how oh, you? Yeah. A bucket that contained excrement, shackles the right size for wrists and ankles. Recent traces of food and drink, no doubt about it. There were people in these cages. The size Damn of the right. shackles, the troughs for food and drink. And the buckets for waste prove it. Can I prove that the people held here were sold? Yep. According to Ivankov's register, someone paid a lot of money for a piece of mur A hefty re Human body. The cages are labeled with letters. The labels on the cages could refer to the customers who buy human merchandise from Ivankov. Oh, I base this assumption girl. on the register, yeah, in which some of the pieces yeah. are marked as acceptable and paid for, and others are not. What does he do with the ones that are rejected? Someone paid a lot of money. A hefty receipt. Oh. Human bodies. The forgeries below. Human some. body. Yeah, we gotta look some more. I figured the ones that are rejected are down there. That's what I was gonna say, but. Man, that weak ass job, dog. They invented these less than 20 years ago to make life easier for lumberjacks. I wonder how long it was before the mob was using them for their own ends. I know, right? Dried blood. Been there a while. That's been there a while. Marks left by the chainsaw, no doubt. This is fresh blood. Not more than a day old. Yo, this is freaky. I think they tried to clean up urine stains with some kind of powerful cleaning product made with ammonia. 
animal fur. The marks seem to have been made by teeth, although I can't be sure. Just a number. Oh, I can actually go up here? Okay, cool. I didn't know I could like back up and... What's there on the floor? Go all the way down. In front of cage, too. There's like some cigarette butts or something. I can't, I can't uh, get, I can't get to them. It's not letting me get to them. Where's the next part? Oh. Okay, so obviously I'm supposed to be looking at something on the ground over here, right? You should have found it. Back up real quick. I'm hey, looking. If you look at it, it doesn't show it again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So hey, back up, Jay. All right, I'm backing up. So all I can see is animal fur. Right, Bullet right. casings. Didn't I say he probably that? shot at whatever was in the cage. Shut up. Did I say that? Cages that likely house dogs. A metal table on which body human bodies dismembered and piled up like trash. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta do some more looking around. It's crazy. So we already looked in. And here we already looked at all of that. It's nothing over here. You can't go around the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go to another spot. So glad that they put this weak ass jog in here. Alright, All right, that is key. So, what I'm looking for, oh, okay, here we go. It's probably the winner right here. It's probably what they're gonna tell me who the winner was. Chris like said, two on nine. Right. But I don't say how. But we don't know who won, but we, we, we probably gotta go down here first. And then we can see. That's on, but it doesn't mean anything yet, right? So My like God, what is this? Pit. You got barefoot and you got footprints. Yeah. Like they said, look, bloody bloody paw print. prints. Made by yeah. dogs, most likely. Wait, 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 they fought the humans with the dogs? The, yeah. the, the humans that are rejected, they fighting them with the dog? Blood stains trampled by the bare feet of at least four different people. Then you got boot prints. The boots that left these prints were fairly new, to judge by the clean outline of the sole. Looks like a scoreboard. Some of the competitors have letters and a number, but towards the end there are others that only have a number. This probably tell us who won. So Apollo won. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that, that's how you get the two on nine. Right. Let me go back to the safe. Ivankov said he dreamt of becoming a boxer. Did his dreams come true down here? A weak ass boxer, man. 
There's more than blood on here. There's chunks of brain. Oh, damn, he wants to beat somebody all the way to death. The leather's ripped, torn, by teeth. Oh, he must have been fighting like dogs. Must have been fighting an animal. Cause you got footprints and you got animal prints down there. Yeah. Let me look one more time. That was that. I thought it was gonna tell me something else, but that's cool. So let's put the mystery together. Chewed and stained with blood and body tissue. A scoreboard, like a knockout, with all the pieces that are rejected by his customers. Ivankov organizes fights, probably to the death, between prisoners. And between prisoners and dogs, maybe even between prisoners and his own men. What is the fate of those that lose? Human bodies, dismembered and piled up like trash. The metal table on which bodies were... It seems clear that those that lose in combat are hacked to pieces. Some of them, while they're still alive. I'd say they're then thrown into the water, but there's no proof. Well, that's some gangster shit. Mm -hmm. Let's get that Fred. Get your Fred Rogers on. Get this Fred. Let's get this Fred Rogers run on. Okay, so we know that this Apollo is the winner, and that's 203, 209. Mm Appreciate everybody that's in here watching this thing live, man. You know, we and Bridget are playing ourselves some blues and bullets. And uh, everything is looking good. Looking nice. Looking fly. Looking nice and fly and fiffy. See a lot of new faces up in here, man. Let me go to Twitch Alerts and see who all my new followers are. As Bridget does what Bridget does. The giant container has been used to hold children. Was Sophia Capone held in the container? It's possible. underwear dirty doesn't look like the dress Capone said Sophia was wearing nah. well Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy right and she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them oh you don't have this plug on no? yeah I can hear no, too much. I have it. Charge. Oh no, no. Okay, I'ma charge my son. I'm doing some mess around. And... Right. As rigid as no adult could sleep, sleep here. No, no way. No way an adult could sleep here. 
No adult could sleep here. Wow. What do you have to do to a child before they draw something like that? And look, it's got to do with the mask. But look, though, look, yeah. look, look, you see, mm -hmm. everybody getting bodied except for the dude with the mask, right? You mm -hmm. see that? So the dude with the mask on must can't get hurt. These prisoners were treated reasonably well, all things considered. A girl's shoe identical to the one that Capone said his granddaughter Sophia was wearing. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could well be a hefty receipt for children's clothes. The forgeries belonging to Sophia Capone's kidnapper. A shoe, identical to the one described by Capone, and the documents used by the person pretending to be Sophia's uncle, make it certain that she was held here. Sophia Capone was here, but did she get out? So then you gotta go to the thing where she was paid for. Someone paid a lot of money for a piece of merchandise that could, according to the register, Ivankov was paid for Sophia, which means she was handed over to his customer. Sophia Capone got out of here, but... Did she get out alive? A hefty receipt for children's clothes with yesterday's date. Oh, I think so. And then we gotta look at some more clues now. Gonna look back at, uh... I think we already looked in this room, yeah, right? These prisoners were treated reasonably well, all things considered. Going back to the next room. Alright. You gotta walk up the steps, though. You can't just, this ain't called a duty. You can't just run over the thing. You gotta, you gotta walk up them steps, player. That's the way they gave her a bath and stuff before they sent her where she had to go. They're still damp. Check out that young ass shampoo. Go back to your boy. You ready? Quite the contrast with the rest of the room. I'd almost say it was cleaner than my shower at home. Back to Bridges Big Board, everybody. Children's shampoo. Someone wanted them to look perfectly presentable. Towels that are still damp. The damp towels, the children's shampoo, and the receipt from the children's clothes shop indicate that they washed and dressed the children before taking them away. <laughs> I strongly doubt that time. they washed them just to kill them, so there is reason to believe that Sophia Capone is still alive. We're done here. Let's go. Already? I thought I'd have time to finish Act 4. Are you doubting my efficiency as a detective? <laughs> that would depend on the quality of your conclusions. Here you go, you about to put it all together. Put it all together and what do you got? <laughs> Ding dong. Hot dog. <laughs> Ivan Cobb is a human trafficker. He has various customers who make specific requests. Slavers, pimps, God knows what else. He kidnaps them and puts them in these cages, shackling them and feeding them like animals until he's ready to complete the order. When he has enough, or maybe when the designated day comes around, his customer comes here and decides which of his catches are satisfactory and which are not. What does he do with the rejects? For many people, this would be a problem, but not for Ivankov. 
Like a true boxing fan, he organizes fights between the failed candidates. Bloody tournaments, possibly to the death. Damn, that chick about to beat somebody ass, or did she get uppercutted like a motherfucker she flying away? I'm sure his men place bets, and that the whole sick spectacle, like the Roman circus, helps keep morale high. But, as in the circus, it's not just people that fight. There are animals, too. In these cages, Ivankov kept dogs. He forces the survivors to fight them, wearing boxing gloves, until the dogs tear them apart. And if anyone survives, Ivankov's own men finish the job. Wow. And that's our sickness. This leads us to the next problem. What does Ivankov do with the bodies? Easy. He cuts them up on this table, one by one. Alive, even, if they had the bad luck not to die in the arena. And then? I don't know. Maybe he throws them overboard, but that's always risky. Maybe if we interrogate him when he wakes up, he can tell us more. But that's not what really interests us. What, what really is? interests us is what's inside, or what was inside, this container. In recent weeks, Ivankov has kidnapped nine children for an anonymous client who pays him a fortune for each one of them. The most expensive item of all has been given the initials SC, our Sophia, as proved by one of her shoes, which I found in there. Today, or possibly last night, the customer took delivery of the children and paid in full. Before this, Ivankov bought them new clothes and gave them a shower. Why would he do that? Is it to sell them into adoption and wealthy families? I very much doubt it, but I can't figure out another reason. I can't either. Maybe they gotta be what I do for think is that his client doesn't want to leave loose ends. I think he forced him to get rid of the rest of his prisoners. This is why they organized fights yesterday, dismembered the combatants, and even killed all the dogs. Damn. Are you joking? No. Oh, man. Oh, let's take this piece of shit to Capone. What? They're old friends. I'm sure Alphonse will be happy to... Out of the question. Uh, you saw what he did to Burke. You want him to do it again? Want us to lose another witness? Christ, 20 years ago, I let a child murderer slip through my fingers. I won't let that happen again. What if the two cases are related? Not gonna persuade you, am I? No. Okay. Oh, wow. Sleep. He did not knock him out. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Oh, okay. Yeah, he did that. Damn. And that might have been Chester. Wake up, Elliot. <sighs> Are we there? No, still a ways to go. But from here, we have to go on foot. Lightning said he got the most savage jab. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it right here and uh, let you guys catch up. Um, You know, we'll, we'll continue it on the next one. If you are in the chat at the moment in the on the Twitch stream, just stay right here. We're not going anywhere. We're just cutting it so that the people on YouTube don't have to watch a 99-minute long video. But give us just a second. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you hadn't caught up, go back, watch the first one, catch up on everything, man. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But uh, anything you want to say, Bridget? No. These pretzels are making me thirsty. But anyway. But those are not pretzels. Yeah, these Oreo cookies are delicious. Well, um, hope y'all enjoying it, man. 
And we're going to keep it rolling. I, do have, I, I am interested to know what happened with these kids and why they were sold. So Me too. I'm ready to get to that part. All right. But anyway, all right, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your girl, Bree Easy. A.K.A. It's your boy, Jay Easy, A.K.A. Fresh from the Barbershop, B.K. The People's Champ. Holla! <laughs> and? Three sissy on this mother. Peace.